hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we created post service and after this we called create post api from our angular application and in today's video we will create full stack api to get all posts so let's get started so in our backend application first of all we will create a method in the post service implementation and after the save post method we will start writing a new method and this method will return list of post and we can name this method as get all posts now let's import this list class and we will import it from java.util now in the body of this method we will use post repository and we will call find all method which will return list of post now we need to return the response of our find all method so we will write return statement and with this our method is completed in post service implementation now let's copy this and let's open our post service and let's mention this here now we need to write an endpoint to call this method so let's open our post controller and in this controller we will start a new method and this method will return response entity of list of post and we will name this method as get all posts and after this let's import this list class from java.util now in the body of this method we will write a try block and in this try block we will write return statement and we will return response entity and we will call status method to set the status and we will return http status dot ok and after this we will call body method and in this we will use post service and we will call get all posts method and after this we need to write the catch block and in this catch block we will catch the exception and we will name this as e and in this catch block we will write a return statement and we will return response entity and to set the status we will call status method and we will return http status dot internal server error and after this we need to call the build method to build it and at the end we need to annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation and with this our api is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's hit this api and in the postman for the request type we need to keep get selected and after this we need to give the basic url which is localhost colon 8080 and after this we need to give the endpoint url which is api slash post now let's click on this send button and as you can see we got the response with the status 200 ok and in the body we are getting a list and in this list we have two objects of the post which we created in the previous videos and we can see all the data for each post now let's go to our angular application and let's write a method to call this api so in our angular application we need to open post service and in this file we need to write a new method so let's duplicate this existing create post method and let's paste it here and after this we will update the method name and we will mention get all post now let's remove this data from the parameters and let's remove it from request body as well now after this we need to update the http method from post to get because this is a get api and with this our api call is completed now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our angular application is up as well without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create a new component and we will call this method from that component and then we will write the code to show all the posts on that page. 